When it comes to art, size has never been everything. But inside one of the biggest art fairs in the world, it's no surprise some are using space to catch attention. Lee Bull's utopian-inspired, willing-to-be-vulnerable, metalized balloon dominates the Encounters exhibition at this year's Art Basel in Hong Kong. The seventh edition of the fair has seen it continue to grow in its appeal to artists as well as audiences. I think this is really where the changes really feel marked in the sense that what people, what the galleries are bringing and, and again upping the ante in, in, in such a great way. And also I think if anything this also shows the galleries um, belief actually in, in the Asian audience. The global art market reached more than $67 billion in 2018, up 9% since the 2008 financial crisis. China used to be the second biggest market for those sales, but this year it fell one place. The US and UK took the top spots. A decline in the supply of high-quality works and trade and economic crises have led to declining values in the crucial auction sector. Global art sales might be falling, but in this part of the world, there is one group that is becoming more and more important. Art Basel and UBS say that millennials in Hong Kong and Singapore are buying more of the most expensive pieces of art than anyone else, and they're doing almost all of that buying at art fairs. We see more art fairs coming up. Uh, that's a global phenomenon. We see the gravity basically shifting to east, similar to the economic uh, gravity. Uh, so the art markets here in the region will be extremely uh, strong over the next couple of years and benefit all, all, all of, out, out of these trends. That's also influencing the types of pieces being bought here. Tang Contemporary Gallery is based in Hong Kong, Beijing and Bangkok. And its director says changing tastes are forcing them to adapt. I think the, the arrival of the young and the millennium collectors that actually push a push us to work more internationally. And so instead of only focusing on Chinese contemporary art, we have to open up. We have to show them Southeast Asian art. We have to show them Western art. Millennial methods and subjects are also showing up more at this year's fair. While the world of art is unable to escape economic realities, those involved in the Asian scene say it's only going to get bigger. Joel Flynn, TRT World, Hong Kong.